this is Trenisha Cottrell, and today <laughs> I wanted to talk about worn out. Mm, 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 mm. So I know when you hear me say worn, worn out, you're probably thinking people wearing out their welcome <laughs> or something like that. Today, I have just been thinking about like, just, you know, when you get tired in your life, when you feel like you you just don't have enough energy to keep going or you just feel like, oh, my gosh, there's so many things. It's one thing after the other. Or you might start the you might wake up in the morning and feel like you can conquer the, the whole entire world. And by the end of the day, you just feel exhausted. At the end of the day, you feel worn out. You just feel like you have nothing left to give, like you've given everything to the day, you know. And some days I feel like that. Some days like today. I had so much energy like this morning. I did my 2020 20 thing. I did not make the 5 a.m. club this morning. I am really trying to do whatever I can to just make that happen because I want to be the best version of myself and I want to give everything I can to the world. Like I want to pour into myself and then be able to help other people. And if I'm going to be able to do that, I need to be intentional. I need to make sure that I'm doing the things that need to be done so that I can be the best version of myself, so that I can keep pouring into myself, so that I can envision the type of life that I want to have, you know, or for my future, for the legacy that I want to leave behind. And it's so funny because oh, I always have to explain this and maybe I won't do this in the future, but I feel like it's part of my thing in a little bit, like kind of. And so. <laughs> the hat this is my new hat you know first love yourself and I just wore it backwards because you know I just like to do that sometimes because nobody does that anymore and then I just paired it with some hoops and a uh, gold necklace this is my serenity necklace it has the serenity prayer on here to remind me to release control and give it all to God and then I just have on a chunky bracelet I got on this um it was raining today so I put on this like rain jacket I have the light blue bodysuit, um, light wash jeans. And then I wore my donks, my donk lows with them, with this. And I have my hair like this because, you know, usually my hair is in like a different style or something, unless I'm about, about to work out or I had my swim class. And so today I had swim class. So I had to condition my hair and, you know, this is like how I did it afterwards, just after the conditioner set in and everything. So I might still have to like rinse out the conditioner and then lock it in with the oil and stuff and a little bit when I go take my shower before I go to bed but I just was like I wasn't going to do a video just to be transparent I was not going to do a video I was you know God kind of gave me the option it wasn't like I, I needed to be here but I felt so exhausted and I really felt like okay well at this point it's too late for me to make the 5 a.m club tomorrow because by the time I finished grocery shopping and picked up my daughter and everything and got home, it was after 10 o'clock. And so if I really want to have seven hours of sleep, it's, it just wouldn't have been possible. I would have had to sleep until 530, 6 o'clock, you know, in order to even make it. And then I, that means I would have had to fall asleep right at 1030, which it takes me a little while to wind down. And so and I have to do my wind down process. So it's just... Every day I, I try to be intentionally, you know, meeting this 5 a.m. mark so that I can get my life together, you know, and it's not that my life is all over the place. I just I really want to do the things that God put on my heart for me to do. Yeah, so <laughs> I did a quick pause and I went and I started working on some business stuff that I told God that I would start today. He said that it had to be today that I started. And so I have like 30 minutes left of the day and I I did everything that I could tonight. Some of the stuff is just, I'm so tired. <laughs> I definitely have to go take a shower and, and get some rest and stuff like that. And it's so weird because I just don't want to miss another opportunity again. You know, I keep living this life thinking that I got things figured out and I know exactly what I want and what I don't want. And I'll have moments with God and God will say, what is it that you really want? You know, and I'll think about my life and I'll think about the type of things that I want to do in my life. And 
and what I really truly desire. And sometimes I'll tell God, you know, I want this or I'm okay with releasing this or, you know, God, just take this from me. If it's not your will, let your will be done, not my will. And when I pray that prayer, I mean it. And that doesn't mean that it becomes easier. That doesn't mean that all of a sudden I don't feel heartbroken or I don't want that thing anymore, or that person, that place, that thing, you know, whatever it is in my life that I truly desired. It's not like the desire is gone because, you know, I said, God, let your will be done. I still desire those things. And lately I've been really trying to just release the things that I don't need in my life and keep the things that God is is allowing me to have in my life or the things that he wants for me in my life. Like I know like in some past videos, this might not come up if I share this part, but I know in some past videos, I talked about this person that it was really difficult letting that person go. And like I said, it wasn't like the person did anything spectacular. They weren't being anything else but themselves, which was good enough. You know, they were exactly the type of person that if had I been in a position in my life where I was ready, I would have loved to be with someone like that. And it's funny because God will ask me certain questions and he'll be like, what is it that you want? I know I said that before, but he will ask me and I really have to think about what it is that I really want. Like, do I want this person, place or thing that I want right now? And do I want them for the right reasons? Do I want them because I want to be there for them? Because I I would be understanding and patient and kind and not keep records of wrongs or, you know, any of the other things. Like, would I really truly be there for that person? Would I really truly appreciate the thing, the, the place or thing that God has given me? Or would I just take it for granted? You know, I'm, I'm saying, God, you know, I release this. I want it to be your will. And while I'm in the waiting season, it doesn't feel good releasing something that you want. You know, it feels like you're waiting while everyone else is living their life. It feels like I really don't like saying this. But I feel like it might help somebody not feel alone. Sometimes it feels like God forgot about me. Sometimes it really truly feels like you look around. And you're extremely blessed. You have everything that you need. And sometimes you want something in life. And you're like, God, okay, I want this thing. And you're telling me I'm going to have it. But maybe you forgot that you told me this. Maybe you forgot that I'm right here. Maybe you forgot while I'm in this waiting season, while I'm working on this other thing that, you know, maybe you forgot I was here or I, I asked for this or whatever else it is. And I'm not just pretending that God's a genie in a bottle or anything like that. I just, sometimes I'm trying to be patiently waiting and I get impatient. And that's just me being real because it's really hard. It's not easy to just be waiting, you know, and I try to be a gracious, joyful waiter. Like, I want to wait like this with a smile on my face. I don't want to wait like, oh, my gosh, you know, like God, <laughs> you know, and it's the type of God that we serve is the type of God that he'll come right at the 11th hour when you don't expect it. When you never see it coming, when you don't know that he's going to pull through, he just makes it happen. And so while I'm waiting, while I am following his instructions, I'm trying to be like this. You know, I really am. And tonight I just feel so exhausted. I feel like the day just sucked, sucked everything out of me. Like, you know, I... I did my 2020 thing this morning and I, I did it all out of order, all at the wrong times. You know, I mean, in order, but at all at the wrong times. I went to this event and it was, it was a six hour event, something like that. 
Sorry. I'm oh, so tired. I need to get to bed. Take this shower and go to bed. I really, really do. But I did that this morning and then I went and I was going to take some time and like go to sleep, maybe take a nap or something. And I didn't. Then I had my class right after that. I go to my class and right at the last like two, three minutes, I'm literally out of breath. I'm so tired because I didn't get enough sleep. And I I just felt exhausted for real. I went to go pick up my daughter, went grocery shopping, made it home like late. Late to me is like 1030. <laughs> but I made it home late. And I knew there was no way I could do my 5 a be in the 5 a.m. club tomorrow. And then I just felt super exhausted. And I was like, God, you know, I want to do all of this stuff. And I just don't want to miss another opportunity. If God is saying, you need to do this now, I want to make sure I do it. I just, the last time that God said, do something. I literally didn't feel tired at all. I had all of the energy in the world. I just was ready to go for it. This time, I feel like it's taken everything in me to get it together. And I don't know if it's the adversary trying to make me feel so exhausted that I just don't do what God's telling me to do. Or if, you know, I just need to. I mean, I did everything that I could. I could do more, but it's not going to be right. It's not going to be what I really want it to be. This could be <sighs> just something posted. And I really want it to be the best. Like, I, I put my post up today and it was something. It wasn't. Usually I feel it in my heart and my soul. It, it's coming from everything that I've been through. You know, I'm pulling something out of that to post something. And tonight I just feel so tired. I'm trying to, like, think of something that would be encouraging for somebody else. And I just don't. I don't feel like I have anything in me right now. And, well, God is saying rest. I don't want to, I'm going to hop off this video and I'm going to go take my shower and go to sleep. Because God is going to allow me to, uh, allow me to rest. Because I was obedient. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. Because I really do need to get some rest. I just. I want you to know. That God is always with you. Always. Even when it seems like it's not going to happen. When it seems like there's no way. How God can make a way out of no way. Even when you don't see how your business can grow. You don't see how you'll meet your husband or your wife. You don't see how you'll find a job that is going to be beneficial for your family or for you as a single mom or whatever else. God is always working it out for you in the background. God is always making the impossible possible. When God sends my husband, I am a literally, it's going to be a miracle in the making because. The things that I've been through in the past, I never, ever, ever would have thought. You know, I just never, never would have imagined, would have thought, would have ever even considered, you know. Like, I would have probably been with somebody just to be with somebody, but I wouldn't have been with someone with an intention. You know, with the intention of satisfying the kingdom of God and not just for my own selfish wants or gains or anything like that, you know really truly being with somebody because it would benefit God. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really am tired. I'm going to sleep. I am going to sleep. Like for real. I need to get this rest. But I just don't want you to grow weary and doing well. I want you to keep your eyes focused on God and give your body the rest that it needs. God will when you're in God's presence, he will give you rest. And rest might not always be sleep. Sometimes it is the thing that you need that holds you over to push you through the rest of your journey. I want for you and for myself, I will, I will, hopefully you don't mind, but pray over all of us and ask God to just 
keep us strong in our waiting season. To allow us to constantly be focused on him, release control, and not to settle for anything less than God's best for us. Like in the waiting season, sometimes it feels like it's never going to happen. You know, like the job, the car, the person, whatever it is. But if you know God like I do, he's a God that always keeps his promises. And he's a God that he will not lie. So if God told you he's going to give you something that's coming, as soon as you ask for it, God is already shipping it to you. You just have to be patient. You just have to not grow weary in, in doing well. You just have to feed yourself with the right things. I was in in this thing earlier today and it was focused on God. That's the, the conference that I went to. And I wrote down this note that really stood out to me and I hope it'll bless you. It's from Elijah's story in, in First Kings. I think it's verse, I mean, chapter 18 and 19, somewhere in there. I don't know what specific verse, but you can look in First Kings chapter 18. And it says, arise and eat for the journey is too great for you. Whatever God has for your life is great. And I wrote in my quote, I said, we need to prepare and gain the strength needed for the journey ahead. Sometimes God, sometimes God wants you to get up. <laughs> he wants you to keep going. You can't just give up on yourself. You can't just give up on your future. You can't just give up on your legacy, the generations to come. All of the people around you who will be affected by your purpose. You can't just lay down and just take it. You can't just, you can't just lay prostrate. Pros, prostrate. Sorry, I had to enunciate. I don't want you to think I'm saying the wrong thing. <laughs> you have to lay prostrate. You can't just think that you have to lay prostrate. You have to arise. You have to get up. You have to keep going. God has more for you. Stop feeling like this is the end. This is only the beginning. This is only the middle of your story. What happened in the past is gone. You can't change it. All you can do is just keep on focusing on the future. And when God says eat, you need to, to feed yourself with the word. Feed yourself with his presence. Feed yourself with everything that is going to add to you. Whether it's educating yourself, whether it's listening to inspirational things, podcasts, whether it's listening to someone speak life into you, while there's you talking aloud, speaking life into yourself, feed yourself because the journey is too great for you to just give up. The journey is too great for you to just lie down. <laughs> the journey is too great and the people who need you that are coming behind you, it matters too much. I know you're feeling like, oof, you're just exhausted. You're worn out. You might need a little bit of rest, but never give up. 